Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Red Gaming Tech video. My name is Amata and I'll be having an amazing day. Paul is having some well-earned time off today, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about, first of all, Sen4, aka Ryzen 7000. As of course, AMD finally gave us some more details on it at Computex. But there were a few details we can all agree were missing, such as, well, hmm, the maximum core count and the TDP. But thanks to AMD's Robert Halleck, Director of Technical Marketing, we now have these details confirmed. Confirmed. Yes, no rumours, no salts TM required on this one. Now, the core count he discussed in an interview with Tech Power Up, which of course you can find linked below, and the TDP was mentioned on Reddit, so all links I've used will be there. Now, he did confirm that Ryzen 7000 will top out at 16 cores with 170 watt TDP. Now, if that at all sounds familiar to regular viewers of the channel, it should, because, well, this confirms that Paul's information was correct and the general consensus of 16 cores was correct. But still, this does make sense. This is what we've been hearing all along from various sources. So it's nice to have that confirmed by AMD. Now, the interview with Tech Power Up is very lengthy. I'm not going to go through it all because A, that obviously would be fair to them and B, that would not make for an interesting video. But there is one more thing that I do want to highlight here and that is the RDNA 2 GPUs on Ryzen 7000 CPUs. Now, Tech Power basically asked Robert if integrated graphics were standard on most SKUs, and I'm just going to let him speak for himself here, where he said, quote, IGP is standard. It's included on all 6 nanometer IO dies, which has a small number of compute units built in, specifically to enable video encode and decode and multiple display outputs. Integrated graphics is very relevant for the commercial market, where most of our CPUs have not had graphics. That's a big customer appetite. They don't buy discrete GPUs. Now we have a much richer portfolio of processors that can play into the commercial space. For enthusiasts, it will help diagnose a bad graphics card to get the system up and running while you're waiting waiting on the GPU to show up. The iGPU configuration specs are consistent and all of the CPUs will have it. Now, for those of you wondering, as a follow-on question, okay, does that mean we're not going to be seeing any APUs on the AM5? Well, no. Basically, Robert said, quote, not at all. We actually don't think of the Ryzen 7000 series as an APU. It's a process that has graphics. I know it's a subtle difference. To us, when we say APU, it really means the product has powerful graphics, is capable of playing a game, has all the bells and whistles for video encode, display, drivers, etc. The IGP in Ryzen 7000 is designed to light up a monitor, handle video encode and decode, run a home theater PC, do productivity, but it's not gaming grade graphics. APUs with big graphics are absolutely continued part of our roadmap and you'll see more. So, like I said, the full interview is quite lengthy, so if you guys want to go give the full thing a read, you will of course find it linked in the description below this video. But I am genuinely really excited for what's going on with Zen 4. Obviously, we still don't know a lot of stuff, like the more important question of, well, pricing and actual performance, because, well, they were very vague with what they said at Computex. So there's definitely more to be revealed. But while we're speaking of Zen 4, I feel I would be remiss not to touch on something interesting from Intel's Raptor Lake, which, of course, is the 13th generation and will be the direct competitor to Zen 4 this generation. Now this one is a rumour, so get your salt shakers back out for this one as we have some new leaks from the Billy Billy Leaker and reviewer Enthusiastic Citizen whose name should need no introduction if you're at all familiar who is now going by the name of ECSM Official. Now they posted a rumoured launch schedule for multiple Intel and AMD platforms for this year. Now I am going to focus primarily on Intel here as of course we just spent a good few minutes discussing Zen 4, but he did say that both the HEDT and Consumer Series, Sapphire Rapids and Raptor Lake respectively, will be coming out in October. To be specific, the Xeons, which is going to be the W3400 and the W2400, and its paired W790 are apparently delayed until Q4 and will be coming out again in October and will only support DDR5. As for the Intel 13th generation, again, Raptor Lake, and it's matching 
uh, Z790, they will also be debuting in October, but we will be seeing the non-K series and more affordable SKUs come out in Q1 of 2023. And of course, that will be accompanied by its motherboards as well, H770 and B760. Now, as with any rumor or leak or anything that has come directly from the mouth of the company, the Your Pinch Assault TM is, of course, required, but this is very similar to what they did with Older Lake, so just keep that in mind. Now, they're also alleging that Zen 4 is going to be launched around August and that we're going to be seeing the higher end SKUs launch later. But just to jump really quickly back to AMD for a moment, as there's something very interesting I want to discuss for Threadripper. As of course, you know, we did have the Threadripper 5000 Pro SKUs uh, for Zen 3, but we didn't really have the bells and whistles and the big launch that we had for the previous generations of Threadrippers. And Genuinely, there's been a question of, well, will Zen 4 actually get a HEDT processor? And Robert Halleck, once again, in one of his many interviews, spoke to Forbes. And, of course, once again, linked below, you will find it. And they were basically asked if AMD had any plans for Threadripper with Zen 4. Now, unfortunately, Robert didn't have a lot to tell us here. He basically just said that Threadripper is not going anywhere. So Threadripper isn't dead or anything dramatic like that. We will see something happen with Threadripper in the future. But, obviously, he confirmed pretty much literally nothing. He just said that, you know, it's, it's it's not going anywhere. But that means, that could mean that, you know, in five years' time we get a new SKU. That still is not it going anywhere, you know. Hopefully we do see it for Zen 4. You know, it was really, really cool and kind of interesting to see AMD do this. And, you know, to see them kind of competition there between, you know, AMD and Intel, not only on the on the desktop sort of gaming side, but the higher and more professional side. And, you know, obviously the threat rippers kind of took Intel's uh, HEDD, H-E-D-T, oh my god that's hard to say, processes to school a little bit and again it's just good to see competition, we don't want to see a stomp on either side, competition is good and I've said this before but I will say it again, you can't stop me. Anyway, that's me done for this video, thank you so much for watching, as always do remember to give us a like and subscribe to us up out a great deal and I'll see you next time, bye bye.